So we're here at what could be Thailand's most sustainable and most vegan friendly luxury hotel. I'm going to go and explore. All the homemade chocolate in here is vegan. Mm. They don't use chlorine or chemicals in the pool. Wow, look at that. If there was an apocalypse, this is where you'd want to be. That's insane. This place is the future. So we're here on Gokud in Thailand and we're at Senevakiri Hotel. This truly is a luxury hotel with no compromises. They've got plant-based food, everything is sustainable and it's super, super luxurious. And the guys that run this hotel, they know that these are all the things that are actually gonna preserve this amazing landscape. They know that plant-based food is gonna help preserve the ocean. They know that by not knocking down a bunch of trees and putting cement everywhere, it's gonna be the thing that helps preserve the environment. So we're very excited to explore and we're gonna take you to have a look at that. It's currently 11.50 a.m. or 12.50 p.m. in Seneva time and I'm going to show you the room. Come on in! So this is probably the most in nature luxury hotel room. You've got your own pool. They don't use chlorine or chemicals in the pool. Our own little private beach. So one thing that we noticed about this hotel is most of the buildings and most of the rooms are built from wood and bamboo instead of cement. So that makes them like that extra little bit more eco-friendly. They filter and they make their own water. So that's a whole bunch of packaging that they've cut out there. This is bathroom number one. So much bamboo. It, it doesn't feel like a bamboo hut. It feels like a luxury hotel. Yeah, there's no compromise on the luxury or the sustainability, which is so cool. The dressing room. Ta-da! When you first go into the, the bedroom, you think, oh, this is amazing. And then you see that there's another room and it's huge. And then, ta-da! Look at this. <laughs> it's huge, it's almost, double the size of the inside area for the outside bathroom, I would say. And there's this wonderful day bed, which you can just nap in between brushing your teeth and having a shower. His and her sinks. Let me show you the amenities that they've got here. So one thing I hate is when you go to a hotel and you forget your toothbrush or you forget your comb, and they always come in plastic, especially in COVID times, but the a wooden comb. The packaging here, you can see it's paper and it's obviously biodegradable. There's no plastic at all. Come on, come on, let's go. Over here is the outside bath. It feels like you're a part of nature rather than separated from it. And I think it's really rare to have luxury and that together. Usually when you get that, you have to compromise on air conditioning or you have to compromise on like comfort. It's normally not luxury. And this is my favorite part. This is the, the rain shower. It's so strong. One thing that you sometimes have with hotels is the little shampoo and conditioner bottles that they throw away, but obviously they refill these indoors in case, you know, you want a bit of everything. And this is the outdoor toilet. And this is made from a mixture of clay and cement. There's a very minimal amount of cement used in this resort. It's mostly bamboo and wood. And obviously this is a mixture of clay too. So clay is a really sustainable building material. And this is the outside bathroom. It feels like something from Star Wars. Oh! And if you want to sit on the toilet and look at the beach or the pool, you can. Okay, let's go back to the main area. So that's the hotel room tour done. And over the next couple of days, we're going to show you everything vegan and everything sustainable about this amazing hotel. So Nevakiri is built on about 400 rye of land, which is huge. And you can see from around us that most of it's been untouched. The villas are very much built with minimal destruction of the natural habitat. And they're also built with wood and bamboo. So very sustainable materials. I'm gonna go and explore. Okay, let's go and explore. So here at the top, they have an all-you-can-eat chocolate bar, and all the homemade chocolate in here is vegan. All our chocolate room, where you have more than 25 or 30 choice of different chocolate, is plant-based. We don't want to compromise the quality. We want the same qualities, 
the same taste, the same texture, even better. It's chilled so all the chocolate doesn't melt. Oh, it smells so good like a chocolate factory in here. Should we get some? This is all complimentary, so you can have like as much as you want. The orange chocolate, let's try one of these. They got matcha chocolate up here. Snack bar or oak clusters, which one do you want? Both. <laughs> Mixed nuts, Nutella. Plain truffle, banana. Mm. Okay, we may have got too much chocolate here. Strawberry, salty caramel. Oh, damn. Try not to overreact. <laughs> Coffee, chocolate, or Thai tea? Coffee. Coffee. I don't know whether I'm excited or just really cold. It's like a vegan in a candy store. Oh my god, that's so thick. Wow. Shall we go eat some chocolate? It's such smooth chocolate, salted caramel. Mm -hmm. It's so decadent. This is the future. This place is the future. So Soneva is actually aiming to be completely dairy free in the near future. The focus on food and health is initially for us environmental, absolutely. We're all aware of the carbon footprint of beef, cows, it's not sustainable. I think it's so cool that an amazing luxury hotel like this has the courage to do something like that. Oftentimes, luxury hotels, they'll feel like maybe if we make too big a changes, it will affect, you know, the customer's experience, but they've really gone above and beyond to make sure that there's nothing compromised. Kind of want to stay forever, I'm not going to lie. So this is the chocolate fondue with melon. Mmm. I'm going to try the Thai tea chocolate. It smells rich. It's not super sweet like Thai tea normally is. It's quite bitter, but very rich. Since we started lunch with chocolate, we're going to finish it with ice cream. <laughs> we have around 30, 35 different kind of uh, ice cream, 60 or 70 percent plant based. We have the goal to end of this year should be also 100 percent. So they've got sorbets and then they've got the vegan ice creams as well. Apricot, tamarind, lychee, orange, carob. Oh, apple cinnamon sounds good. It tastes like Thai curry ice cream. Mmm, that's delicious. After enjoying sweet treats for lunch, we headed to Took Restaurant for some delicious vegan Thai food. All these veggies and the beans and the salad and everything is from the garden. Local and organic is literally grown on site. Very citrusy. And the flowers are quite soft. Great mix of textures. I want to see how spongy and bouncy and flavoursome this is. Mmm! Wow! So one of my favourite things about this restaurant is you're completely immersed in nature. You have to drive a little bit out of the hotel to get here and you walk down the pathway for a long time and then you come out on this amazing river and the whole place is made from wood and all the bowls are made from wood and the food comes served on banana leaves and in coconuts and wicker as well. All super sustainable materials. With plant-based food as well. This is just everything that every luxury restaurant or hotel should be. Mm. You've got the whole Thai experience. You're outside, you're in nature. Super fresh vegetables, stir fries, soup. Bamboo, very much enjoying myself. <laughs> Hello, come on in. So we're enjoying our 
having a vegan floating breakfast this morning. It's been brought to our villa. Chocolate chip muffins, scones, banana bread, homemade Nutella, pancakes, waffles, oatmeal, smoothies, coffee, and champagne. So this is the second part of the in villa plant-based breakfast. We've got vegan bacon, we've got burritos, chia seed pudding, and also homegrown salads. So this is all grown in the Cineva garden. And we're gonna take you there and just show you around a little bit. So we're currently just in the garden at Seneva and this is where they grow a lot of their food and I'm actually very surprised at how much of the stuff we've eaten since we've been here has come from this garden. Chef Christophe is going to give us a bit of a tour and he's also going to show us where the plant-based restaurant is. So during high season they have a plant-based restaurant here and you can walk through and pick your own food and cook your own food and basically sit in the garden where the food was grown. And everything here is organic as well. If there was an apocalypse, this is where you'd want to be. This part is for like edible flower, ah. as you've seen maybe on your dinner. This is the one we had in our dessert last night. For the Mian Kam last yeah. night, is all you get from here? Yeah, of so course. So cool. <laughs> we don't like the easy way. You know, easy way, most of the time it means shortcut. Our mindset here is whatever the cost, we have to be okay with our philosophy. We prefer spend more money, more time, but be sure 100% what we offer to the guests. So this is the passion fruit. We had this in our dessert last night and also for breakfast this morning. Smells. Mmm. That smells like one of the cocktails we had with this. <laughs> that smells like, smells like a cocktail. <laughs> oh. Mm, tastes so different to the ones you get in the supermarkets. So much sweeter. We have the papaya again here. We don't use any product, it's 100% organic. And that also preserves the island. We want to do it properly, right? It's not just something for um, theatre, right? It's genuine, you know? It's a genuine kind of drive to make a difference, you know? Seneva is very much about you know, how we minimise our footprints. You see the property, right? That's where we have trees growing through roofs and stuff. So we try and minimise our impact. Our bamboo, we grow locally. Our drinking water, we, we make ourselves. All used water in the, in the operation is recycled. We try and produce as much fresh produce ourselves to reduce the carbon miles of bringing it across from mainland or wherever. You don't have to compromise certain things to be responsible. They basically just plant things, take care of the soil and let the plants do their own thing. Even if something's grown that they haven't planted, they're just like, welcome! When one piece of mint starts to grow, we let them here, you know. We, we don't know how else it come there, but we are a welcome warming. During the dry season, they use the wastewater from the resort, they clean it and filter it and they use that to feed the plants. They've even got a piece of land where they grow all the food for the staff that live on site as well. We have the lime tree. Wow, lime. look at that! Yeah. So many! We create a special uh, plant-based restaurant in the middle of the garden. We do here. Oh, okay. A small clay pot with the eggplant. 60 days for it to be fully grown. So what happens with the food waste here at the hotel? Every day we get from our kitchen <laughs> and we give that to Kun Kem and he starts to prepare like a, a whole compost, organic compost. We reuse for fertilizer. Paper, material, glass, mm -hmm. plastic and foam. Is there much single-use plastic in this hotel? I know. The idea is not create more, you know, so always what we have will we use. Some styrofoam you already have, we use for oh. creating the new, all this roof. We have a, what we call a waste of wealth center where we take our waste and we can see how we can recycle, reuse, um, and actually create money from that. We're far from perfect, but we're always striving to, to do better. So cool. All oil for the deep fryer, and we make our bio uh, bio diesel for oh. our truck. I think we make around maybe 500 liters every six months. Well, I guess you never need to go to the petrol station. <laughs> New one. See? Ah, so how old is it? So just like a few months. Oh, and this we had underneath our food oh, the other day. Oh, that's what that is. Five days, baby. Go really fast. Four or five days. Every so that's day. what like a meter every four or five days. That's insane. And that's already super sturdy. That is other kind of bamboo. And the same, this one is the new one. I can't believe that, it's a few days old. 
Oh, that will grow yes, tomorrow. Yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. So they've got loads of different types of bamboo here. And I think it was this one here. This is only a couple of months old. That's got to be like 10 meters tall. And most of the resort is actually built from bamboo. So they have a bamboo nursery. When they need to make repairs on the villas, they use the bamboo grown here. So not only is it really sustainable in the first place, even to make repairs, they can grow about half a meter a day. Okay, let's continue exploring some ever and see what else there is. So this is South Beach. Not only do most villas have their own private beach, there's also South Beach. So we're going to head to The View restaurant now to enjoy the plant-based fine dining that would normally be served in the garden. we just got the starters with cocktails. This is all grown from their garden. Plant-based, local and literally homegrown. Maybe I'll live here forever. Mm. So we're on the third course now, I think, and this is the pet salon. It's mushroom with spaghetti. Ooh. Oh, wow. It's an amazing mix of flavors. Mm. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Juicy and crispy and sweet and salty. So this one is the het mok which is like mushrooms in banana leaf and it's got coconut curry. Mm. Mushrooms like dissolve in your mouth. Very rich and creamy. Mm. So good. <laughs> <laughs> So we're just here at breakfast, almond pancakes, chocolate flapjacks, banana bread, oatmeal bread, muffins, mm. cinnamon donuts, which I can smell and yeah, I really I'm want to dig into those. To homemade jams, using all local fruits, a mushroom, bruschetta, avocado bruschetta, Looks homemade peanut butter, smoothie bowl, chia seed pudding, spiced oatmeal, sanu salad with figs. Mm. It's such a luxury to have the pastry selection because like when you go to hotels normally, you almost never get muffins very true. and banana bread and pancakes. Vegan chocolate in a hotel breakfast? Never. Mmm. 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 That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. So these are the almond and oatmeal pancakes. I'm gonna. Oh. Mm. Is that nice? Did you, you didn't want this, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. So the chef just brought this out. So we've got a mung bean um, omelette here and. Vegan bacon. <laughs> Scrambled mung bean eggs. Mm. Oh, it really holds this form well. Mmm. Is this the only hotel? in Thailand that would give you vegan bacon and vegan omelette with your mm -hmm. breakfast. I think it might be. People are increasingly looking for uh, these options which are health orientated, good for the environment, but still not compromised from a taste point of view, right, and choice point of view. For me personally, I've been vegetarian for 25 years. If I'm not prepared to kill a cow or a chicken, I shouldn't eat it, right? Will we end up completely plant-based? I think we'll get close to it over, year, over the next few years. How that looks, really, I don't know, but that's kind of where I think it has to move to, right? Mm -hmm. Is there a choice? I mean, really? We hope you enjoyed our tour of Seneva Kiri. This could be Thailand's most sustainable and vegan-friendly hotel. Don't forget to follow Root the Future and subscribe on YouTube.